Elon Musk, the richest man in the world, clearly one of the most brilliant men in the world, all the big money in the world turned their back on Israel. He's allowed free speech. He's targeted all of the lies against Israel. And he's coming to Israel tomorrow to go visit the kibbutzim and see with his own eyes what the Hamas did to the Jewish people in Israel. And he just posted this tweet a couple of weeks ago, and I found it to be really timely. The real battle is between the extinctionist and the humanist. And so he doesn't have the language to articulate Tahor in Tamil. But what he's saying here is there are people that want the human race to be extinct. They hate existence. They hate life. And they want it to stop. Want to stop us from using cars because of some climate disaster and tragedy that's going to unfold and everything is doomed and everything is gloom and there's no hope for this world. And then there's what he calls the humanists or what the Hebrew would call the life force. Tahor. What is the deepest question that's separating the lovers of Israel and the haters of Israel? It's the most basic question about existence. If we believe God is one, not that he's one out of many gods, like he's the greatest. No, no, no. He is one. He's one with everything. There is nothing other than him. He is existence and he is the creator of existence. So the fundamental question we need to ask ourselves is existence good or is existence bad? And when you get to the core here, let's see something from Marcus. Do we have a benevolent worldview? Is the world good? Is there hope? Can there be progress? Is the world moving toward redemption? Is life good? Or is it a malevolent worldview where this world is hopeless? This world is on track for climate disaster. This world is overpopulated. Don't bring kids into this world. Why bring kids into this tragic disaster called existence? And if you exist here, better to get out. Better to get out when they say there is no hope. What is Israel's national anthem? Hatikva, the hope.